it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Soaring inflation triggers national strike in France. So here it says, the trade unions have called for higher wages amid the cost of living crisis. And for those who don't know what a cost of living crisis is, a cost of, uh, 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 a cost of living crisis is when the cost of living outweighs the amount of income you make in order to make ends meet. Now, normally, if the cost of living goes up, minimum wage goes up. But now, if the cost of living go up, but minimum wage does not go up, then it can turn into a crisis, especially when the cost of living outweighs the, the amount of money you make in order to make ends meet at work or to make, make ends meet at home. So it says a national strike in France on Tuesday has seen trains canceled, schools closed as trade unions demand higher salaries for workers amid soaring inflation and energy crisis, which if you, if you should know by now that down there in Europe, they're talking about an energy crisis. And a matter of fact, they're talking about how by January 1st of 2023, the amount of money you will have to pay for energy bills is supposed to skyrocket by 2,400%. So where you would normally spend 56 euros or pounds, whatever, British pounds, euros on, on energy bills, you'll be, you'll be finding yourself paying 1,000 over 1,260 1, pounds or, or euros in order to pay off your energy bills. So there is a serious inflation and energy crisis going on. Okay, according to one of the country's largest trade unions, CGT, the protesters are calling for an increase in wages, pensions, and social uh, minimum and the improvement of living study conditions. It says, CGT explained in a statement that today's industrial action is an, ex is an extension of the, of the weeks-long refinery strike that has closed the gas stations across the country. The trade union accused management of oil giants total and Axon in particular of making huge profits while ignoring the demands of employees hit by the cost of living crisis. As the protest movement is picking up steam, not only in the, in the energy industry, but across both public and private sectors, the union said that now is the time for employees, retirees, the unemployed, and young people to join the industrial action. France, France's inflation rate currently exceeds 6%, while almost all of the country's industrial sectors have recorded a drop in activity due to the burgeoning energy crisis, which has been exacerbated by anti-Russian or Russia sanctions and the sharp decrease in Russian energy supplies. And you have the United States 
of America to think for that. Okay, ultimately it was their idea. And they pulled Europe into into that that little scheme. So if you want to know why Europe is suffering from an energy crisis, well, the U.S. is to blame for it. But then when you read books like Revelations, the 17th chapter, and Obadiah 1 and 7, you start to see why the dragon is going to turn on the whore and make her naked and eat her flesh and burn it with fire. Meaning with, those, with that nuclear fire. Now you start to see how the dragon, which is NATO, is going to turn on the U.S., so it says the strike which is supported by several large unions has led to massive disruptions. SNCF, the national state-owned state, state -owned railway company, issued a warning that traffic will be disrupted on several lines. Okay, the Eurostar Rail Service announced that it had to cancel certain trains between London and Paris due to the work stoppage. Maritime transport could also be impacted as several ports and docks announced that they would cease working for several hours on Tuesday. Okay. The strike has forced some schools to close as the first official figures from the education ministry show that about 6% of teachers are participating in the action the number is particularly high at vocational high schools where the, particip where the participation rate has reached almost 23%. So everybody is joining in on these protests. Okay, everybody is getting their hands into this protest because of unrighteous dealings. Several cities including Paris, Bardeox, and Reims have seen thousands of people take part in various rallies with more protests planned in the afternoon. Meanwhile, one of the country's ministers commenting on the strike on Tuesday accused its participants of not adhering to the culture of dialogue. Well, ain't, ain't don't nobody care about no culture of dialogue. You know, people are, are waiting to see change here. He <laughs> in which there is going to be a change, but it's not going to be for the better of you people. Whether you people believe it or not. Another reason why all these energy crises and gas shortages, inflations are going on in these different countries is because the so-called elites, to put it simply, the so-called elites are moving forward with their New World Order agenda. So they are going to come with, with, with a solution. They are going to come with a change. But that change is not going to be for the good. It's going to be for the worse. Okay? The solution is going to be the NWO. That's going to be the change. And when that happens, well, the Lord is going to send his son, Shai back to, to, to interrupt their plans. Because the real new world order is really going to be when who the world calls Jesus returns. Because when he returns and he delivers his elect men, he's going to give his, his elect men of the nation of Israel. You know, the Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. He's, he's going to give his elect men power to rule over the nations. To rule them, rule them, the, these different nations. You know, you heathens to rule over you, you so-called white people in the other nations with a rod of iron. In those nations which will not serve us, like it tells you in um, the book of Isaiah, I believe the 60th chapter, those nations shall perish. I understand that a certain number of employees may express expectations of improved pur purchasing power. But I tell them that in Europe, we are the government which has protected its residents uh, uh, the most in terms of inflation. Christophe B. Chu, the Minister of Ecological Transition, told Europe One. The official emphasized that strikes are under further aggravating 
a state of affairs that is already difficult enough due to the war in Ukraine and the broader economic situation. So with that being said, let's go over here to Second Estrus. Chapter 15, verse 15. And it says this. Well, this is Second Estrus, chapter 15, verse 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. What is a sedition? A sedition is a uprise or a rebellion against the government. So a protest, a rally, riots those are all examples of sedition which is prophecy come to pass okay this is prophecy coming to pass it says and invading one another right because every time you see these people going after the protest right they're in they're invading these streets they're taking them over right holding signs yelling expressing anger frustration they shall not regard their kings nor princes these people ain't trying to hear what these different presidents got to say you know well, what, what, what they're looking for is change, right? Which it's not going to be a change to their desire. It's going to be a change to the so-called elite's desire. Because they're the ones causing all this chaos. It says, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? So now, let's go from there to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 29, verse 2. It says this when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn okay you want to know why the whole world is in a state of mourning because guess who's in rulership guess who has control over the whole world the wicked do who's the wicked well that's starting with the so-called elites the so-called elites of this society okay the Edomites they are predominantly the wicked that the scriptures speak of. And that's starting with the so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. That's why you got people taking to the streets. You got people rioting. You got people rallying. You got people angry, mad, they're confused. They won't change. They, they, they want better of everything. Because right now, they're suffering. And they're suffering because of unrighteous dealings. In which the unrighteous dealings is coming from the wicked. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.